So we got this beautiful ax here that looks like you could use your new life. And we're gonna start with the beheading. Perfect. So next we're gonna prep our hickory handle for some wine staining. And yes, I did indeed say wine staining. We got ourselves a nice full body blend. If anybody has had a sad, drunk, lonely wine night, you know how much this stuff stains. I'm actually just using a steel ruler for this. Cost me a whole toonie. I know, this is, this is a pretty cool stick. So there's a bit of a glossy finish on the bottom part of the handle, which I think I'm gonna leave on for like a bit of a gradient. This is all just an experiment. Funny, that's exactly what she told me that summer. I should call her. You're all ready. What are we doing? <laughs> this might get a little messy. Ah yes, the blood of my enemies. With a hint of gooseberry. You just get her all nice and lathered in there. Ah, arts and crafts. So to get some of the rust and corrosion off of this, we're gonna be using everyone's favorite chemical, Coca-Cola. It's also really great for getting the skunk smell out of animals. I don't think anyone really knows what's in here. Ugh. So we've let that soak for a bit. It's very sticky. Just the right amount of pressure with those circles. We're gonna leave it at that for now. So now we're gonna Frankenstein this ax back. And we gotta make sure that there's a wedge in there so that the head doesn't fly off. Looking good. Give it another polish. All right, let's give her a test. That'll do.